Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte's daughter will run for president in the 2022 election and her father's longtime aide, who has filed his vice presidential candidacy, will be her running mate, ABS-CBN News reported late on Saturday. Sara Duterte Carpio is currently mayor of Davao, the Philippines' third largest city, and on Saturday filed her candidacy to run again for mayor. She has previously said she would not run for national office next year. ABS-CBN News based its report on an interview that President Duterte had with a broadcast journalist right after he announced that he was retiring from politics on Saturday, while accompanying his closest loyalist Senator Christopher Bongo to file his vice presidential candidacy. When asked to confirm what the president said, Duterte Carpio spokesperson Mayor Cristina Garcia Frasco told Reuters, the extent of my knowledge is also what was reported in local news. We have no comment on the same. Doe did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. ABS-CBN News said it obtained permission from the broadcast journalist to use the video showing Duterte outside a hotel in Manila where the registration of candidates was taking place and that a transcript was also provided. In the same clip, Duterte was asked when his daughter would file her candidacy for president. He said, I really do not know. I do not have any idea at all. Asked if he had given his daughter permission to run for president, he said, ah, No, actually we don't talk about politics, ever since we never talk about politics. I would say that it is for the better. Duterte's political party has yet to officially nominate its presidential candidate and Duterte Carpio belongs to a different party. Retired political science professor Tamario Rivera said while Duterte's daughter is winnable, the same could not be said about Go who has no political base, thus making a Duterte Carpio Go ticket weak. While Duterte Carpio is by far the most popular presidential prospect, according to successive opinion polls this year, but Go, who was the president's longtime aide before he became senator, trails in opinion surveys on preferred vice presidential bets. Duterte, 76, said on Saturday he was retiring from politics, a surprise move that fueled speculation he was clearing the way for a presidential run by his daughter. He had been expected to run for the no. Two job, a plan most Filipinos oppose is violating the spirit of the Constitution which sets a one-term limit for the president to stop power being abused. Duterte Carpio's mayor aisle re-election filing, did little to dow speculation she has her eye on the presidency. Analysts say it is crucial for Duterte to have a loyal successor to insulate him from potential legal action, at home or by the International Criminal Court, over the thousands of state killings in his war on drugs since 2016. Candidates have until October 8 to register but withdrawals and substitutions are allowed until November 15, leaving scope for last-minute changes of heart.